Hello Gemini and welcome to your mid-month bonus reading with me Julie Paul. This is a general message for the middle of the month and for the next week or two and I hope it's helpful. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Thank you for being here. Get yourself comfy, get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or a glass of wine or whatever you want. Today I have lemon water as we can see. Um, I've already had my coffee and tea. Well, not tea yet. I've had a coffee and now I'm on the water. So, Gemini, we're going to be using, that's the one I want, thank you very much, we're going to be using, hang on, let me get rid of that, we've actually got some sunshine here in the UK, in South Wales here today, for the first time in I can't even tell you, and it's so nice to see a bit of sun, it won't last, because <laughs> it's, because the weather forecast said it won't last, it'll be raining later, but still, it's nice to have it, even if it's for a little 10 minutes, all right. We're going to be using two animal decks to start with and then clarifying with the tarot. Okay, these are the animal oracle and these are the Australian animal oracle, which I haven't used for some time. And then we're going to clarify, uh, get some more information with the tarot of dreams and we're going to clarify with another tarot deck. I don't know which one yet. They'll tell me. Okay, for my Geminis, please. Messages, energy for Gemini for mid months. Oh, and happy birthday to my son, Geminis. Okay, and this is good for sun, moon, rising, cross watching, and Venus. However, you want to use the message, that's fine. We've got Peacock Spirit, let it shine. Oh, that's you stepping into. I'm shining. I'm shining. Okay. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. One more, please, for my Geminis. Thank you so much. And how are you feeling now that Mercury is out of retrograde shadow? Should be feeling so much better. Okay, I know I am because I'm a double Mercury. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Nice. Okay, and from the Australian animal, thank you very much. We have koala. I know that one. Lots of the cards in here I don't know. I'm in the UK. Half the animals in there I've never heard of and I don't know how to pronounce. But I do know koala. Dreams. There's that little baby koala bear. And it is all about your dreams. And you are speeding up. Life is speeding up. Going towards these dreams. And that is very nice indeed. All right. Now, let's get some tarot. So what are we shining for my Geminis? What are we shining, please? What are we shining? Thank you. Oh, all right. Too many. Too many. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down, son. As the uh, Liripodlians would say. All right. So we have got faith with the ace of wands nice oh we'll take that thank you very much with the six of wands and we're going to take that as well because i think those two are going together whatever you have been overcoming because let's be fair let's just chat a minute come closer april and i don't often swear on this channel but let's be real april was f shit <laughs> it was hard it was draining it was exhausting we were clearing we were cleaning we were purging we were releasing tears drama pain sorrow whether it's recent or whether it's from decades ago we have been clearing out so much stuff and we've done it victoriously this is the winner winner card winner winner all right winner winner you've done this this is done right now it's time to dream okay center of the reading you've got the wheel of fortune this just came up for the collective reading that i've just done for the uh, the weekend this is phenomenal it's beautiful so we are starting with this faith and the ace of wands letting it shine this is your light this is your power this is your empowerment ace of wands your enthusiasm your energy your focus and this is the Taurus card. And this, we're still in Taurus season at the middle of the month. We'll be in your season by the end of the month. But this is the Hierophant. This is about faith and trust. This is about longevity and contracts and stability and all that good stuff. So you're going to let it shine. Now, use your mind wisely. When this one comes up, it's saying, okay, you're going to have to decide and discern here. Being wise. 
being wise. Use your mind wisely, okay? Because we have had a lot of triggers, we've had a lot of pokes and prods and reactions, and now it's time to respond rather than react because we are moving into this new energy now with this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, a new cycle is turning and life is speeding up. It feels at the moment um, that that wheel is turning incredibly slowly. But as we move into the middle of the month and towards the end of the month, just feel the momentum picking up, especially after we get past the 23rd and the full moon. It just is speeding up okay so we want to dream our world into being from a place of success and recognizing with that three of swords that hurts and pokes and prods they're done now they're done i'm not saying you're never gonna have another tear that life is going to be rainbows and unicorns from there on in but this is old stuff that you have worked hard to clear out and it's done so Let's step into this new energy then, yes? All right. I'm going to clarify with the Rider weight. Tell me more for my Geminis. All the cards I use are linked below. You know this stuff, including the link to my website. Please, please do not email me saying, how much is it? How much is that in my currency? When can I book in? What do you offer? It drives me insane. And I started to get arsy about it now because I'm getting dozens and dozens and sometimes hundreds of emails which are completely unnecessary because all this information is on my website okay so please don't email me just go and book yourself in if that's what you want okay all right lecture over but seriously it's been driving me nuts you know I reply with go to this page and they come back saying but what about this and then I go back and it goes back and forth and it's driving me nuts all right look at this this is good gemini this is good oh good oh, glow oh, blimey okay wow 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 wowzers are you excited because i am all right now hanging man tower empress fool high priestess five major arcana cards in a row and you've got two up here as well this is huge all right, now I would expect it to be huge for my Gemini sons in particular because it's your birthday season. And your birthday season is the most powerful time of the year for you. Always is for every sign, your birthday season is the most powerful sign. But when we have it on the back of this big shift as we come into May with these lighter, brighter energies, you are absolutely on a double roll on a double roll my Geminis okay you're not just rolling your double rolling things are speeding up you are letting it shine you're using that mind wisely and you're visualizing your dreams and you have this phenomenal energy underneath it supporting you Phew, you know this is huge all right <laughs> oh gosh okay so we've got faith the Hierophant with the Hanging Man, right? The Hanging Man is about patience and surrender and letting go and waiting for that wheel to turn in exactly the right speed at the right time in the right way. Not easy energy to step into, that surrender and trust and have faith and stay positive when you don't see the evidence around you. I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know, okay? But it's not easy, but the more we can do it, the better life is, okay? Because we're not railing against, we're not trying to kick down doors that are not ready to open yet, we're just allowing. So we're surrendering in a place of faith that the wheel is turning and things will get there into my abundance, okay? And with the tower here and the ace of wands, once it hits, it's going to hit quickly. So you might feel like nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, whoosh. It's like, oh, okay, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Don't just know, just know that it is turning and it's turning in your favour. So allow yourself to trust and let go. Look at him with his light shining, okay? Which is what the peacock is saying, right? Let it shine. 
as you. Let your light shine, your positivity, your faith, your trust. And there he is with his light shining. So the more we can have that faith and let it shine and just allow this new beginning that absolutely wants to come in shining as well, it will happen. The tower will hit. So if you're waiting for that new job, it'll come. If you're waiting to sell that home, whoosh. It's whatever it is for you, whoosh. Use your mind wisely and discern and decide that you're going into the right thing at the right time. Because there might be more than one option for you, but we have success. We have recognition and we have abundance here with the Empress. And right now in May, uh, Venus, which is the Empress, is in Taurus, which is where it's very happy. It's its home sign and it loves to be there. And that's all about the beauty the beauty of life. I've got a beautiful life. I'm abundant. It's flowing. I'm safe. I'm secure. It feels amazing. I'm in this energy. And then that new beginning starts. So the fool is here with life speeding up the victory card and the fool. This is happening. Okay. Any part of you that's given up that <clears throat> has just kind of going, this is all BS. Nothing ever changes for me. If you're in that energy, you're holding it back. So surrender that over to the universe. Thank you for t helping me to lift this negativity. If I've lost my hope, hope is one of the most, well, actually, I would say, yes, and my team are agreeing, the most important energy. Because when we've lost hope, we are in such a dark place that we cannot align with anything. Hope is the beginning, it's not the end, which is why my book is called From Hoping to Having. The hoping is the beginning. Okay, how do we move the hoping into the having actually touchable, tangible reality? And that's what I explain in my book. And many of you have read it and it's helped you. And thank you so much. And I'm glad it's helped you. But we are, we've got to get into that hope and release anything that is negative and trust it's coming. Because this is amazing. This fool is here. And don't forget the main energy of the fool is a leap of faith. That's what he's talking about. The fool, he, you know, you might say he's an idiot, but actually the tarot say he is in his innocent, open heart, ready to explore and have an adventure without any restrictions, without any kind of, it has to be this way on my highway. This is, you know, this is what I want it to be. No, he's just open saying, show me, guide me. I want to experience it. I'm going to jump. I'm going to trust. This is you. Leap of faith. And as you do that, look, we have the success. You align with the success. And we've got the high priestess here as well. So this is your intuition. This is you in balance, okay? We've got the black and the white. We've got the balance of the yin and the yang. And we've got her sat in the middle, perfectly still, just allowing, trusting, being in your God self, your divinity, being in that moment, in that moment, they're just repeating that, be in the moment, all right, where I am allowing my greatest life to unfold. I am allowing my abundance to come through, my prosperity, my security, whatever your definition of abundance is. And it's gonna be different for different people. Personally, I would say that the most important abundance is love and connections, but they can also spring out into so many other things. An abundance of happiness, fulfillment, contentedness, financial security and beautiful things. There's nothing wrong with beautiful things. A bit of materialism is good. We look at a thing that we have and say, you know, that gives me so much pleasure. It could be a flower. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It doesn't have to cost anything. You know, I'm blessed where I live currently in this rental to be surrounded by trees. And at this time of year in May, I wake up every morning to hearing the birds singing, building their nests and building their future. And it uplifts me. I'm like, I feel it in my heart. Isn't that lovely? It's free, but it's beautiful. What is beautiful for you? I also have some things that I like that are beautiful. And I look at them and they lift my heart and they lift my energy. You're in this energy of beauty and abundance and success. And you are in this trust. This is lovely. Now, I want to get you an angel card, please. 
These are the Oracle of the Angels. Oh, that one. Okay, thank you. Blessing. You are in this energy of blessing. There she is. Look at her. That's the tree of life. This is you creating your branches where you want them to be. Creating your roots, your grounding, your anchor where you want it to be. Nice and firm and solid, that foundation. And the sun shining again, this light, they keep bringing us back to the let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, I want an affirmation card for you. These are mine from Hoping to Having. Affirmation for Gemini, thank you very much. <clears throat> You're in the I am. Remember, I am now activating the I am within me. I am allowing the divine intelligence within me to assist me in creating my greatest life. Do you see the way this is tying in with this one, with this one, creating your greatest life? The Empress is creating energy, okay? And allowing the divine, allowing the hangman. We have this one card is wrapping up all of this, allowing the I am to help you to create your greatest life. Step into it now, because this is amazing, Gemini. It's absolutely lovely. Anything else you want to say? You want a unicorn card? Okie dokie. And you may notice if you watch some of your other signs, I don't always use the same decks. I'm told with each reading which decks to use. This is the uh, um, unicorn cards, okay? You've got 30, cosmic diamond spread hope and joy illuminate the world another illuminate god man gemini you are letting it shine let it shine oh i just love it okay let me say it again cosmic diamond spread hope and joy illuminate the world okay so that is what I have for you, my beautiful Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it was helpful. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with your June 2024 general guidance. In the meantime, I'll link up here your money and career reading if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have, you might want to go back and see it again in view of all this lot, because this is amazing. All right, Gemini, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, a share, and click that subscribe button. It really helps me out, helps my channel grow. And I'll see you next time. You take care, lots of love. Bye-bye.